Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, SAP SD and ABAP League Support. It is continuation series on SAP SD Support Project Real Time Tickets. In this video, we will discuss about one P1 ticket raised by business. The issue here is that business are not able to create any transactions like order, delivery, or invoice. So ideally, they are getting the update termination dump when they try to create an order or delivery or invoice. Uh, let me show you what does it mean, update termination dump. I'm going to create an order now in VA01 transaction code. I have given order type, sales area. And I'm giving the customer. And giving the dummy PO number here. Okay, that's fine. So entering the material number now. Yeah, and click on save now. Save it. Order number is 2003. Okay, note down this one. So let me note it down. So order has been saved, but and order number here is 2003. I'm going to display or change this order. See, the moment when you click on change, okay, I am getting this update was terminated. It's a dump basically, it's error. Due to that reason, so whenever we receive this message, that means the transaction that has been created will be rolled back completely update was terminated update was means system trying to update the creation of an order details into database table but that time something went wrong so the, all the changes that has been carried out should be reverted back this is the issue okay now when we analyze this issue we come to know that the issue coming from the number range only. Okay, when you work on any support project, the first thing when you that you should come to your mind is that why the issue came now. So we are working here for some times and we haven't received this kind of issues earlier. Then all of a sudden, why this issue has been arised? What is the reason for that? Simple thing is to analyze the latest changes moved to production system the trs okay first thing we should validate the trs which moved to production recently that's obvious thing right so this man this many days it was working fine now we, we have the issue means something moved to production which disturbed the system so in our case also similar thing happened as i said earlier this issue is because of number range only okay let me tell you a few things about number ranges. The transaction code to maintain number ranges VN01. And the object here is that RV Belag. Right. The backend database table which will be storing this number range information is NRIV. Okay. So this RV Belag used in case of orders, deliveries invoices so this object is used for these three transactions order delivery invoices let me go to vn01 you see the number range maintenance for sd documents sd documents means order delivery and invoice okay, the change moved to production related to order number age only but I will show you one more thing here okay I'm going to change some validity to I mean uh, two number for this number in zero one two let make it as two now okay let me make it as I made the changes to this zero one only okay I'm going to save this one 
okay it is saying that overlap happened okay let me create one new entry here cx let me make it as 2 one, 1 and uh, let me make it as 3 I have defined a new number in CX. Okay, I'm going to save this one now. Save it. Okay, it is saying that overlap happening. Okay, um, what I can do? I can increase this. I decrease this one then. Wait. Let me save it. Again, overlap happening. Okay, let me delete this one then. Okay, let me delete this SM one. Yeah, now I have deleted the SM number range. I'm going to save this one now. Okay, it's saying something overlap is happening. Okay, but what I'm trying to say here is that so when we do any changes to the number range in VN zero one transaction code for any number range specifically, and when you try to save those changes in the TR, then what will happen is that. the tr will carry all the number range information into the tr even though we do changes to the specific number range there is a reason for the issue here so system won't allow us to carry the changes of specific number range where we did the changes no it won't do like that system standard standard system will allow us to capture every thing in the development system number ranges and move to the quality and production system that's the issue here similar way when we try to do any changes in factory calendar the t code for factory calendar is scal s c a l so here also system will allow us to transmit everything see it is saying that it will transmit everything whatever defined the system even though we do changes to one or two factory calendars so there is no way of uh, taking the specific factory calendar or number ranges to next systems quality or production it's not allowed at all this is the main reason for this issue as the user i mean that uh, i mean that a uh, consultant moved the changes from development to quality quality to production so it doesn't vary on the number ranges what we see in the production the issue why it happened here is that as all the number ranges has been carried out to the um, production system the number range has been disturbed right if i go to the table nriv if i give the 01 is rv black sorry is rv black is object number range is uh, 01 if i click on f8 if see here so this so if see the status here right so this status information will be recorded as per the system as per the client basically okay so so in this development system it might be 2003 in quality it might be 3000 in production it may be, it might be 10000 right the the creation of orders may be differ right so the number range would be same for each and every develop each and every systems it might vary as the tr moved from development to quality quality to production so it completely overwritten the status number from development to production so it is overwritten that means the order is already exist in the vba ke table that's why we see that issue here so remember that number range config should be done in the specific system if you move via tr it will do a lot of issues like this p1 ticket we should always go with client open get the um, special approval from your manager to do changes in production system directly and do the changes in production system don't do any tr movement if you do tr movement it will overwrite everything the main issue happened because of status only the status number will different in each and every systems right and moreover even though so we do changes to 01 only still the tr carry out all the objects under rv black let me show you that if i remove 01 number range and if i give only rv black and execute you see 45 entries are there 45 number ranges are defined for the rv bellag object that means 
our change disturbed entire all the deliveries invoices and all right so it's recommended that do the activity directly in production so what we did in production that we went to so how we corrected this issue let me tell you that the fix what we did in production is that we went to debug change mode so i think i have discussed these uh, two variables in our uh, abap functional consultant sessions you can go through those videos again you will get some idea about how to debug it and all yeah so what we did here the change to fix this p1 ticket so we have aligned this number as per the production system okay so how we have aligned this what we did we went to uh, table vbak and this is a range right copy this range we have copied this range from to to executed this one and we have taken the last number here the last number in vbak table is 2070 so we have copied this one here that means the next number will be so when we try to create an order next time the number will be 21071 so it should be incrementing one by one plus one every time right so we have taken the recent order number and updated here after this change the system is stabilized and the p1 ticket has been resolved so this is how we should do the changes in for this kind of issues remember that p calendar changes and number range changes should be done in production system only directly if we do it via pr movement then it will cause some issues as 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 per the standard behavior as per the standard design so standard design uh, sap will carry all the available number ranges into tr even though we do changes to specific number ranges the solution is to to fix this issue right so to fix this issue what approval from manager to change access in production to update the status number as per the last transaction from vbak table so this is how we should fix this issue and uh, it's very very critical for an sap sd consultant whenever they receive any issues on the creation during creation of an order delivery or invoice so and we have is a p1 ticket right so we don't have any time to check this issue after some time no not like that we have immediately get into a call by involving everyone business our abap technical team functional team managers everyone who have involved in the call and we have find the root cause of the issue and we did the fix then and there itself we don't have any leisure time to check this issue later it's an burning and p1 issue hope this video will be very helpful to you if you like my work please do subscribe to my channel thank you everyone